It's Daniel Rowe from TradeThePlan.com. Just doing a quick update on crude oil. Didn't have any trades today. It's just been moving straight down. This is the reversal I've been expecting from that trend line. We finally hit that. Today, I, I took a long yesterday here wanting to trade into that. And I don't know. I chickened out before the close yesterday. Well, took one off before the RTH close and then took the other one off um, before the ETH close. Let me just show you. Well, I guess if you've been watching, you, you already have seen the trade from yesterday from right here. Yeah, right there. Took one off before the RTH close here and then the other one right here. When I was talking about holding to 82.41, but anyway, that's what happened. So we came up and tagged the areas here, right there. And then that coincided with this big down sloping trend line. The trend lines from high to high and uh, multiple other up sloping channels like this one, low to low, parallel from the high. And now we've broken through all of the up sloping channels except for this one. That's, this is where we landed today at the close. So that's a bit odd looking. I don't think that's going to be a reversal up. I'm hoping it's going to go up in the overnight and then we set up for a nice short tomorrow morning. Same thing in the ES. The ES reversed down like I was uh, wanting, expecting from the high yesterday. Made that retracement high today and then it's just gone straight down and hasn't looked back. I was saying 39.50 or something and now we're 39.46. So I think it's going to keep going lower, but we should see a big retracement tomorrow, which should set up for some decent shorts. Same in crude. Only thing I'm worried about is that this might be like a wave four. Sometimes they are straight shots like that. So a little bit nervous about buying that because it does count so well. on this RTH chart. That's a perfect five waves up for a big C wave. So but then again I'm you know I may have that wrong and this may be wave four. Very possible. It's a good spot for it to stop and turn back up as a wave four. Not really sure. I mean, I know why we didn't hit the top of the channel. And that's because we have the area, this down sloping trend line here. On the larger time frame. So, I'm not worried that it didn't hit the top of this channel because of that down sloping trend line. I think that's a complete reversal. We'll see. It did end on a big churn bar there, though. So that's def definite demand coming in at that low. It's just a straight shot, so I don't really see that as a fourth wave. So yeah, I think I'll be looking for shorts tomorrow in both the ES and crude. All right, that's it.